raise up stones. A God that does not die, cannot be sick, cannot be weak, does not need a relative, does not need psychological support, and who pleases, and he still remains God. Not threatened by any man's pride. Do I want to fail? You heard it again and again, what I'm speaking to happen before you. It is certainly not going to be by your wisdom, for that is limited. It is certainly not going to be the assurance of men, because the best of us will still disappoint you. For instance, I will help you with all my whatever it is. God is all to him who is able to do. Please say able to do. Interact with too many things that seem to downplay the power of God. And because he resides in a realm that is invisible, they usually say out of sight is out of mind. So we get used to troubles, we get used to the pride of godless men. I know says that when a man ministers, are we still together? That when a man ministers, the Bible mandates that he minister according to the measure of grace. Because you all know that we don't cook, I had to order for food outside and the food had arrived so I'm going to our security post to go get the food. Yeah. That is what it looks like when they come to give you food. This is what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> what was it? Respect doctors, I respect medical people. Thank God for your contribution. But I'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture. It's fact and flourishing. There are many trees on earth that are older than humans, and those trees don't plan to go anywhere. You see them flourish and refuse to die. Hallelujah. 
wait for rainy season, but a tree that is planted by the streams of water. It is only its fruits that it brings in season, not its survival. 3 and verse 3. They will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call unto me, he says, and I will answer you. That means when there is no call, there will not be any response. Call and I will respond. Call and I will respond. Call concerning the health situation, I will respond. Call concerning the job situation, I will respond. Psalms 145 and verse 18. Psalms 145 and verse 18. Is it not in your Bible? Please help me. Let's become believers tonight. Except we are just saying, okay, God, well, we, we hope we trust you. There is a condition upon which an athlete can float back again. That is the assignment of the prophetic. The prophet said, by this time tomorrow, that shame and that reproach would have left you. Amen. He was not just speaking to an individual. He was speaking over the entire Samaria. Don't assume that everybody is doing the business you to you. Come on. And as he sowed in that land, it didn't make sense to sow in that land. You see, believers, we have an advantage of the voice of God. And no matter how long it will take, stay till you hear God. But when you hear him, run with the speed of Elijah. Hallelujah. Perhaps that will be the last prayer tonight and then I speak over our lives. If you don't have a problem with direction, look for someone connected to you who is desperately in need. Do you know one prophetic instruction that directs companies? There are companies that have lost billions of dollars, billions of naira, not because of incompetence, because of assumption. Not every open door is God's door. Even the prison has a door. So just because a door is open, you need to find out where you are entering. A door can be open. Wonderful business opportunity. And at the end you find out that billions have vanished with no explanation. Plunging people into depression and all kinds of health things. He said, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Someone is going to pray for your church, for your life. Father, what is the next five years going to look like? What is the next ten years going to look like? Grant me direction so that I do not shadow box around my life. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray direction. Oh, let your voice come. Let me hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Watch ye in it. It is risky to make assumptions. Don't just relocate because others are going. And don't just remain because you are talking about those going. You must find out what is your blueprint for my destiny for now. Someone pray to your father. to start a ministry. Pray for direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. True story. I'm about to speak over your life. I know a gentleman who God has so marvelously blessed. Marvelously, fearfully blessed. And what changed the life of that gentleman was one prophetic instruction. One. He was at a point in his life where everything was going down very brilliant, smart gentleman, but he didn't have any advantage around his life, and this guy was tired, and he cried and prayed and fasted, was frustrated, was humiliated, and an instruction came. A particular person in this nation, and the Lord led him to just go, and I think was it to greet the person, and so bless the person. He said that the steps of the righteous, oh God, are ordered by you. Father, order my steps in the name of Jesus Christ in this season. So at this point, I will tell you what Jesus told his disciples. He said, where I am going, you cannot come. I am going to my father. And you people don't know where I'm going. Even if you know where I'm going, you can't come. So I am currently at this point, I I think I've spent almost a whole day. I want to wash my hair and uh, then take, take a shower, then come back and study a little bit more. Then what else do I even want to do? 
but at this point let me just i won't be able to take you to the bathroom where i'll be showering because it's going to be quite messy water and the rest of that but i'm going to be using jd fruit products you know already i am their brand ambassador so i just want to wash my hair my the hair is not dirty uh, i just want to just give her a quick rinse then take my shower brush my teeth everything that has to do with the bathroom i will do it there so i may show you when i'm when i'm trying to put my hair in a protective hairstyle or i may not show you um then i'll show you the other things we've been doing so far and i know some of you be like why will you say this place is a precinct it's fine it's clinical it's 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 fine but not to my taste uh, my bed is not very soft the weather here is terrible and remember you guys i'm still trying to recover from you know sickness and this weather and the food here is not doing me any justice at all so apart from everything you're seeing um i still will not brief i will still prefer to leave this place than to remain here i can't cook i can't do nothing the weather isn't friendly to my body everything is just crazy i wish you saw the day that we had a terrible wind um you will you would not want to stay this in this place but okay um enough of that but i'm i am one thing i do one thing i do all the time is especially especially when i first came here i had 1001 reasons to always get angry and i was always getting angry but i had to stop it and start practicing gratitude so for every day i wake up like this morning although i didn't show you guys when i was you know having my quiet time but for every day i wake up i find reasons to sincerely be grateful for it helps me to go through all the negative you know um the you know not so good side to this place and it helps my mind a lot it helps me to stay focused on what i need to do so i do make sure that every single day forget that i, I think i complained a lot in this video when i was typing but every single day i do make sure that i have something tangible to be very grateful to god for gratitude has a way of working on your mind and helping you to work with the resources you have and before you know it time has flown so yeah this is where i will peg it and let me get to the bathroom yeah let me get to the bathroom and come back <laughs> hairstyle of the week done um i've not really done anything on my face i just washed it i'm rushing out right now to go pick my dinner because the bike man the delivery guy is already here oh i really kept the delivery guy waiting honestly let's see anyhow for you see that which I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ.